Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a course developer and tutor at Point Blank Online. I've been working for over 20 years as a musician, sound designer and programmer. I released tracks in the mid-90s on Ouch, Tasty and Storm and have also worked in TV and film. In this series of tutorials, we're going to be checking out the Max for Life plugins which we've been developing here at Point Blank. These are available for you guys to download for free. Make sure you subscribe to the Point Blank YouTube channel and also check out our free sample courses at pointblankonline.net. Here is the fourth Max for Live device from Point Blank and this time round we've created a formant filter which also features a built-in synth. Formant filters replicate the different vowel sounds of the human voice and can be used to create that talking bass sound favoured by dubstep producers, although there are also a number of other techniques to create that particular sound. We take a look at using formant filters in the Ableton Sound Design course when covering analogue, but the point blank formant filter allows you to process any audio source and it also features an envelope follower which can modulate the filter as well as pitch of the built in synth. So let's take a closer look at the interface. We have here the formant explorer. So if I hit play and just move this control around, you can hear how it's forming the vowel sounds. So obviously you could automate this control or you could make use of some of the modulation options by going to this menu here. So if you select anything else apart from slider then this modulation range will come into effect. So I've selected audio in and that essentially maps the dynamic range of the incoming audio to modulate the formant as just as if I was moving this up and down. The modulation rate is controlled by this parameter here. So let's press play. Increase the EF rate. So if you listen and look, it's opening and moving this slider up and down according to the dynamics. We can then restrict the amount that this moves by adjusting the modulation range. So I'm just literally just dragging across. Or you can hold down shift and extend it out. So it limits the different vowel sounds. Again, holding down shift, or if you hold down the command key, you can move the whole range across. As well as that, we could also choose any of the other standard LFO settings. So let's go for a square wave. And this will be determined by this menu here. So if I choose 4N, that will be quarter notes. Let's try eighth notes. And you can hear it oscillating between, or we can go for some random. Just go make it go a bit faster. Get a bit more movement in the sound. So the sound of the filter very much depends on the signal coming into the plugin. For more pronounced effects, then we can turn on the onboard synth simply by clicking on this button here. I'm going to use a different drum loop just to drive this. Let's press play. And let's just switch it back to slider to start off with. So basically the initial pitch of the synth is determined by this keyboard and these octave selectors. And this is reflected in this value here which can be automated and the pitch is modulated by the incoming dynamics and also set by this offset control here. And you can also control the attack and decay settings of that envelope follower. So a moment we're just listening to the synth we then enable the random control for example or 
even the audio input. You can get an idea of some of the kind of potential behind this. Sometimes it might be worth adding just a little bit of kind of distortion. So if we add some redux, let's uh, choose soft. Just crunches up the top end. And there we've got the typical sound from the formant filter. If you want to, you could also put the point blank formant filter after any other synth, for example, operator. It works best with any timbrely rich sounds, so a sawtooth or a pulse wave, for example. Otherwise, it will create quite subtle effects, which might be what you're after. So this is the point blank formant filter, exclusively available to download from pointblankonline.net. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor, he downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work, so basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.